So the empirical formula of a compound is the lowest whole number ratio. And the whole number ratio can uh, be in terms of the atoms, or a lot of times we just say the lowest whole number uh, molar ratio, because we uh, often will put this in terms of moles. So if we wanted to find out the empirical formula of a compound and we knew how much uh, or the mass of each of the elements in the compound, the first thing we would do is have to uh, convert those uh, masses uh, to moles. And so in this problem, what we're going to do is we're going to determine the empirical formula of a compound that contains uh, scandium and oxygen, so uh, some scandium oxide. Uh, and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to convert the grams of scandium two moles of scandium. And we're also going to convert the uh, grams of oxygen to moles of oxygen. And then we're going to put this in terms of a ratio by dividing by the smallest value. Okay, so we're going to divide by the smallest number of moles. That will automatically put uh, one of them on a one the, uh, basis and if that's a whole number ratio uh, that is your empirical formula. If it's not a, a whole number uh, what we're going to need to do is we're going to multiply by an integer to uh, get it to a whole number. And the uh, usual suspects um, are if your decimal ends in something like uh, zero around 0 0.5 we're going to multiply that by 2 to get a, to a whole number. If it's something around 0.33 we might have to multiply it by 3 to get to a whole number. And if it's around 0.25, uh, we'd multiply that by 4 to get a whole number. And I keep saying around 0.5 or 0.33 because, of course, uh, these uh, masses were determined experimentally and there's obviously going to be some experimental error, so nothing's ever going to be uh, completely perfect. Uh, but uh, you can assume if something's really close to 0.5 um, with experimental error, it could be uh, 0.5. All right, so let's start uh, this calculation. Uh, first things first, let's uh, go after scandium, convert that into moles. Uh, so the problem states we have 0 0.652 grams of scandium. And the molar mass of scandium is 44.96. And one mole. And so we put that into our calculator. I'm going to take 0.652 divided by 44.96. That's going to give us uh, 0 0.0145 moles of scandium. All right. Uh, let's convert our mass of oxygen to moles. So we've got 0 0.347. Uh, grams of oxygen and to convert that into moles we're going to take one use the conversion factor for the molar mass so one mole of oxygen contains 16.00 grams of oxygen and if we take 0.347 divided by 16 we get 0. 0, 0.217 moles of oxygen. All right, so we did this part. We converted each of the masses into moles. Now let's turn it into a ratio by dividing by the smallest. All right, uh, obviously 0 0.0145 is our smallest value. So let's do that. So let's take both of those. Let's divide by 0 0.145. Obviously, that's going to equal 1. And then when I take 0 0.0217 divided by 0 0.01145, I get 1.496 and some change. Now, if I convert that to three significant figures, that is 1.50. Okay. And so now I can see that this the ratio is 1, 1 to 1.5. That's technically the ratio of uh, scandium to oxygen. 
But of course, when we put this in a formula, we're going to put it in whole numbers. Uh, so I've got to multiply by an integer, since it is in the whole number. And of course, that is, it hit 0.5 exactly uh, with the signal figure. So 1.5 to 1, we multiply both of those by 2. And we get a 2 to 3 ratio. So the uh, formula for this would be scandium SC2O3. And that's the empirical formula for this compound.